Today, guys and gals. Nine for challenge mode. It's quite difficult. Double and shadow class shadow casters are invisible. It makes life a little bit hard if you don't have the right operator set just because of how many there are. So I'm bringing in Tsukunogi, mine's still A1. Max level, but still A1. Uh, that's because she has a skill to reveal enemy, invisible enemies, and I'm also bringing Silver Ash for the exact same reason. Reveals invisible enemies. There are a few other operators that do the same thing, but I think these two probably work the best. Um, now this is going to be super easy if you have better healers. Um, this is a little bit of all over the place. Um, so we have two standard vanguards with Myrtle. I'm sorry that this whole screen is all messed up, but I was shoving operators in and out all over the place. All right. Um, I would not suggest using Perfumer. I would actually suggest using another standard medic. So we'll grab Myr. Um, you could use a three star for this, um, but Myr will do. Gaviel. So two single target, well, three, 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 no. Yeah, three. Suzuro's over here. So I've got Suzuro with skill two as well. Super confusing for everybody involved. Let's do this. So three single target medics. Suzuro is preferred as one of them just for her skill two. Silver Ash is going to be bouncing around. So you'll see a lot of bouncing around of Silver Ash. For male, so a split shot uh, sniper is preferred. Myr Myrtle, as I said, so a flag bearer. I'm using Durnar, but I don't think you super need Durnar. I would still probably stick to using one of these arts tanks. I say using an arts tank simply not because they deal arts, but because they tend to have a higher damage ratio so than standard defenders. And then the rest of our defenders are all going to be healing defenders. So I have Spot and Gummy. You can bring whoever you like. And let's get into it. Obviously, if you don't have Silver Ash, grab a mates. Uh, for those of you who don't have Sukunogi, I'm afraid that I came up short when trying to sort this out. Um, I had a mental thought, but I just don't think there's enough time to do it all. Anyway, if this helps you out, guys, leave a sub. So, Myrtle in first. Doesn't matter which way you face her. She's at the back here. Let's put Scavenger in over here, because Scavenger has high damage. And we're going to put Courier in just here. Tsukunogi in first, so she can start working on these enemies. The male here facing up. Skill. First healer, just here. That's going to be Gaviel. Gaviel or Mur. Doesn't really matter. I'm saving Mur because she has a higher attack than Gaviel. Not by much. By a little. Maybe. No, I think Gaviel actually has a higher attack. I think that's just because of a boost when she spawns in. Anyway, doesn't matter. Second healer in here. Cycle skills. Now there's literally no point in using Tsukunogi's skill until much later because all it does is grants physical and arts dodge. So it doesn't boost your attack, so don't bother using it until we need it. Alrighty. Silver Ash in here first and foremost. Then Durna. Courier out, gummy in, cycle that skill, cycle this skill, now regardless of whether or not this skill activates, if this guy's still alive, uh, use Silver Ash's skill, if he's dead, pull him out before Silver Ash's skill, don't worry about it, it's not something you need to concern yourself with super.
So obviously now we're starting to get some build up. Over this side's not too bad. Suzuro will sit here happily tanking this. Not out. Don't need her anymore. Alright. So we have our first couple of guys here. So what we're going to do is put Silver Ash here now. And then we're going to use Suzuro's skill. Use this skill as well. And basically what we're doing now is we're letting Suzuro's skill run its course. Spot skill. So... Pretty much as soon as Silver Ash's skill is good to go, we're going to use it. Because by the time Silver Ash's skill is ready, Suzuro's skill will have expired. And once this group is out at the 36 mark, Silver Ash out. Which is also our cue to do this on the other side. Which will reveal these that will give the male some time to get rid of them, which will be fantastic. There we go. Beautiful. Now, that's all we're going to be able to get out, unfortunately. It is what it is. Now, we need to be super quick about what's about to happen next. So these guys are moving. One and two. Now, up here, I'm expecting Courier to die, but I was using an AoE healer before, but we'll see what happens. Doesn't matter, because all we're doing at the moment is biding time. Use this skill and this skill if you want. Now, I'm leaving Kuri there until he dies. If he dies, I'll replace him with Scavenger. So, this side's done. So, we can literally just pull all these guys out because we don't need them. Silver Ash. And... Well, I might as well pop in Scavenger there. Courier is very much winning because he's killed one of them. And we're just going to burn this guy down. And that's it. So, admittedly, I was a bit slow on the Silver Ash deployment. So, obviously, that does give you room for Wiggle. Uh, if you borrow a Silver Ash, 10 to 1, it'll probably be level 90 with Mastery 3. So, the Silver Ash will be a hell of a lot stronger than mine is. Because uh, my Silver Ash is very lacking. So, yeah. It's... It's hard, it's rough, but it's not too bad, especially if you bring in heavier operators, six-star operators, you'll have a laugh, so. Um, but this is how you do it with a minimum group. Uh, unfortunately, Sukunogi is kind of niche, but uh, it's the way I've found to make it the absolute easiest for you, otherwise you put under massive healer pressure. So I hope that helps, guys.